What's going on guys? So, new video, got some exciting stuff going on. And uh, first, gotta run to the bank, get some money, cause tonight I'm buying something. And uh, we got a huge snowstorm uh, last look, weekend into the week. It was like a four day storm. And uh, finally got this thing kind of dug out. I gotta get some more of this snow cleared out, but we are buried, like my rear bumper for the 3000s, like somewhere under there. Uh, my tire rack is completely covered, but I've been driving the Suburban around. I mean, that's why I bought it. This thing hasn't moved and it probably won't until the salt's off the road. And then uh car's still getting wrapped over there, but I'm gonna run to the store or the bank. And uh, like you can see, like I've been driving this all over the place. There's just chunks of ice and snow and all that underneath of it. And uh, yeah, definitely have been getting my use of the truck. So, Let's go get some money. I'm gonna keep you guys uh, along for the ride today. Let's see what we get into. So there's a couple things that I can do today and um, I've received, I'll show you guys some of the parts, like the amount of new parts and things like that that I have stacked up for all the cars really, uh, Morgan's included, and there's just so much that we have to start getting done. And um, basically, there's something for everything. And with the weather, the weather's been so crappy, it's been so cold. But like today, there's not a cloud in the sky, there's some sunshine, and I'm actually kind of feeling motivated to do something. It's so hard living where it snows and we have a winter to just be motivated all the time to like keep get working on the cars. And like also by lack of garage space and having the ability to work on the cars when it's so cold. But for the truck, at least down here, I have a, uh, Kurt brake controller, there's a little piece of tape on it. Kurt brake controller, it's the Venture, and it's like a little brake controller that when you press it, um, it doesn't have numbers, it just has bars when it's hooked up to the trailer, but I hate it, and I absolutely despise this brake controller. Uh, I had one back in the Trailblazer years ago, and it was great, but for some reason, this one just doesn't work as well, and with Polly's trailer, um, which, I have something to share with you about that. Uh, I, it just, it sucks. It's so aggressive in like parking lots and things like that, but it's a time release brake controller. Now, time release brake controllers are typically the cheaper option. I mean, that thing was like $36 and you know, they're not bad, but with how much more I'm gonna be towing in the coming months, um, I've just decided to like take it a little more seriously and up the quality of my setup and again, I'll tell you guys why um, later in the video, but I got myself a proportional brake controller from Kurt as well, but it's, it's one of their nicer units. I think it's like the top of the top regular brake controller that they have. It's not like their Bluetooth or wireless unit, um, but it's their like top plug-in unit and it's proportional. So basically the harder you hit the brakes and like it has a little like three way, three axis G meter internally, um, the harder it thinks that it's slowing down, the that's the rate in which it applies the brakes on the trailer. So hopefully when I'm in parking lots and things like that, and you're really not, when you're, you're not going fast, so when you're hitting the brakes, um, you're not, there's not very many lateral Gs um, being experienced by the truck, the trailer will be a lot more forgiving in that sense. Um, so gonna go into the bank, get some dollars, and uh, check back in and try and figure something out to do today just because with the weather that we have right now, like I would feel bad if I just wasted this day on nothing. All right, dollars have been acquired. We're gonna go pick up a lot of things over the next few days. Um, starting tomorrow, which tomorrow, all you 3,000 guys, where I'm going tomorrow, you guys are gonna appreciate and I know you're gonna wanna catch that video. So keep an eye out for the next one especially. Let me show you guys, like I mentioned before, all the insane amount of parts that we have that I start, I need to start getting through. And uh, maybe today I'll get started because I'm not gonna be driving the V um, for a while because of the salt and just the snow on the road and all that. So it's not too bad, it's like 40 degrees outside. So I think I might be able to start one of those projects on the Cadillac that should be easy, but who knows what kind of issues I'll end up running into. I also want to show you guys when I'm wrapping the car here, I ripped up this old 
ripped door trim. And those of you 3000 GT guys know, it's pretty brittle. Um, those of you 3000 GT guys do know that the OEM ones are discontinued. So I'm taking a trip up the Ground Zero Performance tomorrow, meet up with Hans, and uh, that's, you guys are, I'm gonna do a little tour of the shop and uh, get my hands on some aftermarket ones that are now on the market that he offers. So um, yeah, let's go take a look at the V. I'm gonna have to get this thing up in the air. That's always the hardest part with this car, but I'll have to clear some snow out first before I get started on this little project. All right, guys, so I'm going to cut into the video here. I started doing brake lines on the Cadillac, and I ended up running into a little bit of an issue. So I'm just going to cut that whole section out of this video and use it in another video. But uh, I still I got some things that I mentioned here, and I still have to go uh, over to Polly's house tonight and um, acquire something pretty cool. And... Uh, Judging by the title of this video, you should have picked up on it by now. But I got this Kurt trailer brake controller right here. This is the proportional trailer brake controller that I was showing you. And uh, that will be going in the truck. And then I also got this fancy little universal tri-ball trailer lock kit. And um, it'll fit different trailer sizes, but I'll be using this one for my application, the two and five sixteenths. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little piece. Oh, we got Don joining in here. Oh, uh, we got Daisy coming in too, coming in. Wiener gang up in here. But uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting for Polly to get home and uh, I'm gonna swing over there and uh, make the exchange. I also got some mail from uh, my buddy Ryan in West Virginia. It's his Valentine's Day card that he sends out every year. That's him with his new Forerunner. And uh, it says, Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, it's me, Ryan. Here's a made up card for a made up holiday. Single, taken, married, whatever. Have a great day. And uh, it says, hope all is well, buddy. Can't wait to see the new look and you shredding at events this year. Ryan. So thanks buddy. I appreciate it. This is going to get hung up on the wall. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing the new look and I'm looking forward to shredding this year and I cannot wait to get back on track and hopefully it's going to be happening sooner than later. All right. So I'm at Polly's house now and uh, I just bought his trailer. Uh -huh. Um, so it's a trailer that I've basically been using for like the last three years. <laughs> and uh, it, yeah, right, appreciate it. Uh, you know, I always appreciate it. Um, and it's now my trailer, which is kind of weird to say. And like, I was talking with Morgan and I was like, oh yeah, Polly's trailer, Polly's trailer. I was like, I guess it's like my trailer, but it's yeah, still no. weird for me to call it my trailer. <laughs> like not your no, trailer. It's not. <laughs> um, so uh, you can take all these. Okay. So there's three more and there are shorties in there too. If you wanted to use shorties on anything. That work. I don't need them. I'll and need that, them later. But so I, I just need a females. Them. Yeah. You just need the one union thing right now. Right. And you'll be good. All right. And then that. Yeah. Which I might still have. So. Yeah. Polly's helped me uh, fix something that you're going to see in a, an upcoming video. Because it was supposed to be this video. But then uh, it just turned into me not completing the actual project because of this right here. So... The, 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 yeah. Well, I was like, oh, I went to the bank and I was like, I'm going to bang this out real quick. And I was going to come over here and buy the trailer. And I, then I, I mean, end up. You know, what, what uh, trailer video doesn't turn into uh, fixing a brake line video? I know. I don't think I've ever shown this on in a video. Actually, I know I haven't. But this is Polly's Chrysler, 1950 Chrysler Windsor. And he put an S10 frame basically cut the windsor frame off right here <laughs> and put a chevy s10 frame like a square body s10 frame um and he's putting a 5.3 and a 4l60 or 4l80 some kind of gm automatic in it oh dude you're gonna love me what i got you oh no way <laughs> so this is Polly's one of the five threes this is the good five three with bad heads and then he has another one over there that has a blown bottom end with good heads um it has a lot a little bit yeah like, yeah, yeah. Just not, have to no big deal <laughs> um so then i gave him the 
LS2 cam and the valve springs from the V, so they might make their way into here at some point. And uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be pretty gnarly once it's done. I um, told you, found the valve springs. <laughs> the ones that I lost? For when you gave them to? Oh yeah, <laughs> where were they? Uh, they were on the shelf. <laughs> oh nice, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah, so I guess this is my new trailer and it comes with a fresh load of snow. Hell yeah. Uh, what, and then I gotta come soak up the water? Wait. Where are you going, bro? I'm at the edge. 20! 20 foot? You're now, is, right. that to the, is that to the edge or to, is that to the... That's to the very front. Now, you got uh, about 19 and a half to before the... Or 18 and a half. Before, before it starts bowing in? Yeah, I was like, that's not a 6 foot. I'm... All right. Excuse me, I'm for two days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it was like six and a half feet across. <laughs> and then 20 feet long yep sick it is cold wow it's 40 degrees out it feels way colder than 40 degrees right now there's no way that's gonna come down um but yeah there she is boys the uh the new the brand new used 2015 appalachian car trailer uh, like I said, that's the one I've used for almost every drift event. Um, I've used Tyler's a couple times, but uh, yeah, it's a 10,000 pound trailer, I believe. It's like dual frame, heavy duty. Thing's got some weight to it, but it can also carry some weight. So it's gonna stay there for a few months and uh, probably can still use it whenever he wants. And uh, you know, I'll be using it for drift events or taking my car to get tuned or anything like that that pops up. So uh, now I'm gonna run to the parts store and grab some stuff for these fittings and everything that we just got so that um, I can fix my other car. So guys, I finally now own a trailer and I'm super stoked. It's been a long time coming. I've been talking about getting a trailer since like early last year, even before then. Um, but the time has finally come and I now own a trailer. So shout out to Polly for making that happen. And I'm super excited. Shout out to everyone that has supported me from start to finish. Um, not even finished yet, but you know what I mean. And uh, without you guys and the support, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do. And um it wouldn't really motivate me to keep trying to be better because the support that I see you guys show me makes me want to do cooler things for you. Um, so now I'm going to get this whole brake issue situated that I'm working on. You'll see it in another video, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a short one, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm excited to start taking more trips this year and go drive some new tracks. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.